Greetings. Today I'm going to talk about Self Service Plus. So to get this, you're going to need to log into your Jamp products page and download this add-on called Self Service Plus. It was released just a couple days ago, so it's on version 1.0 or 1.0.0. So let's get that downloaded and then uploaded to our JSS. All right, so. To do that, we are going to choose the package from the downloads directory, and we're in settings, commu computer management packages. Put this in the utilities category, oh, and let it upload. I'm gonna go pretty fast in this tutorial if you haven't caught on, so press spacebar to pause and then rewind as much as possible or needed for your own use case. All right, now we're ready for a new policy where we will deploy this app. So we're going to call it what it is and then give it a date. So we know what date it was deployed. And then we'll configure this package. We will find it in our packages. And this package name has no space between the word self and service, which is why I didn't find it using my search. So we will just scroll down and find it in the S's and add that in. Once it's added in, we are ready to go back to our general, give it a category. This is going to go in utilities. And then our uh, trigger is going to be reoccurring check-in. Now this scope will scope it to a test computer. And then we'll go to the self-service tab and make it available in self-service so that we can download it directly from self-service. So we'll download self-service plus from self-service. Uh, we'll go ahead and search that in there. We can see it and now we will install it. And this is a pretty harmless app in theory. So not too worried about testing it on the same machine where logged into the server on. So now when we search, we can see self service plus, and this is the new app. And there, there's not much different. Uh, they've added this security dashboard and there's nothing on it. Now this computer is part of well, I should say this, we, we have computers in our fleet that have both Jamf Protect and Jamf Safe Internet on them. Uh, for our use case, or the, the use case of this specific fleet, I don't think Jamf Protect is worth what it's cost because it, it just gives you data about like, you know, how many computers are updated or are USBs allowed to be plugged in, stuff like that. It's, it's cool, but the in terms of a target for uh, a hacker, it's, it's not a big attack surface. And we can use programs like Nudge to automate the updates of computers anyway. That said, it's a new app, and I wanted to test it out and get this video of what it looks like and the install work, uh, work workflow on uh, on YouTube so that Mac admins can see it and learn from it. If you think this is a particularly helpful upgrade, please write what you like about it in the comments below so that the admin community can learn from your knowledge. Switching gears a bit, we want to be ready to delete the original self-service app when we get to that point in time because in this deployment, we're not going to want two apps that do the same thing. That's just going to confuse people. So before we get into that, we are going to scope this self-service policy out to the rest of the fleet. So we've done that with a smart group built on the M1 and M2 chip architecture that makes up the majority of the devices in the fleet. Uh, so that's good for our scope purposes. And then we're going to this policy that is, uh, well, it's a copy of an existing delete policy that runs a pseudo command 
a pseudo RM, pseudo space RM space. Uh, these are the options dash R F and then the directory of the application we want it to delete. So this is what we're going to use. And I'm not going to, you could daisy chain this to your policy, your install for self-service plus policy. So when self-service plus installs, it deletes old self-service. I'm not ready to go that far yet. I'd rather those happen. I'd rather everybody have two apps for a while, have a little bit of confusion and then delete old self-service. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, but you do, you do what works for you in your environment. In any case, that's all I got for you today. Thanks for watching. We'll see you around.